Hey guys, uh, this is another Monday ranking update uh, for the Plastic Weekly Canadian Boulder rankings. Um, so what's new this week? There have been a couple comps this past weekend, but neither of them were included in these uh, ranks. First one was the Quebec Provincials, and like a lot of Provincials, uh, Quebec separates the A, Junior, and Open competitors, uh, so you don't get the full field competing like they do in Ontario. Um, so unfortunately, I can't include those. I also don't include the Ontario ones. Um, BC is really the only comp that consistently keeps uh, their A, Junior, and Open together. And Alberta actually this year has been doing a good job of hosting their youth comps on different days as Open comps. So uh, most of the, the juniors can compete in the Open comps, which is great. But uh, unfortunately, that means that I can't include the, the Quebec uh, event, even though uh, two young kids actually did a really good job. Uh, Eggy uh, Eggie St. Jacques, who's on the ranks in 17th, and Babette Roy, who we talked about, and she slipped out of the ranks a couple weeks ago. Uh, they came first and second, followed by Olivia Wyatt. So the women's field right now being dominated by a couple young teenagers and an Ontario climber, which feels pretty good uh, for an Ontario boy like me. Uh, the other one was Slabmaster, which happened in Markham, just north of Toronto. And this one's I've been thinking about, and I'm definitely open to uh, putting something like this into the rankings. My initial decision not to include it was based off the fact that it's obvious to not include something like a, a dino comp in these ranks, right? You want um, you want to include competitions that really encompass all of bouldering and something like <coughs> sorry, something like a dino competition is a very specific subset of that. A slab master I kind of thought would follow roughly the same lines. Um, the format was legit. It followed the the U.S. current kind of points per hold points per bonus kind of thing, um, which isn't a problem. Uh, but I, I think I'm going to get some more feedback from people that climbed at it and also the the, the folks that put on the event. I'll figure out if it's okay. Uh, it doesn't bother me that they allowed uh, kids of any age to compete in the open category. It was boys and girls at the same time. That's not a problem for me. It, it's not an issue. Um, something that might be an issue is the fact that they scored men and women in the same category, which just from like a... a, a standpoint of me having to enter all this info manually is is really frustrating and uh, we'll see if i want to you know make that a regular thing that i submit myself to but anyway so those are two comps you didn't include um stuff that's coming up uh is the alberta well this weekend is the ontario open national series which i'll talk about but a lot of the change in the results you can kind of see uh is actually a bunch of alberta area climbers kind of losing rank and that's mostly because last year's um, Alberta National Series bowling event has already lapsed. It's already over a year old and they haven't hosted their one for 2018 yet. It's in two weeks. So that's really hurting uh, those climbers at the moment. The Ontario one is about to lapse, but it's also going to be replaced basically immediately, exactly a year later. Uh, that's this weekend. So it's not so bad for the Ontarians, uh, but for the Alberta people, they're being punished for the next couple of weeks because they don't have that full representation uh, from their calendar. Something I added I want you to know about is that I've now included a list on the ranking page at plasticweekly.com slash ranks that shows you all of the included competitions. I'll show it right here. I think it's currently 28 different events are included in the ranks. So it shows you the date and the event. So you can get an idea of what is actually affecting the scores. Uh, and it also lets you see if there's one that you think I'm missing. Uh, I know there's a couple of events already missing. I've told you about a couple of them. One is uh, the Tour de Bloc at, uh, or sorry, the Goldfinger event at Vertical and the Tour de Bloc at Seven Bays Bouldering. I still don't have full or, you know, any results for those. And the other one was uh, from ARC in Cranbrook. It was a combined local between BC and Alberta. And by the time those results came out, the format was unclear for the qualifying round. I'd like to use that one. Now that I look back and saw it, a lot of people were climbing there. So I'd love to include that in the results. So if somebody can get back to me uh, with what the format was for those qualifiers, it would be nice to have those because it was only a few months ago. It would still be pretty relevant. Um, but aside from that, that's all that's left there. So all I'm going to leave you with is this weekend on Saturday, the 27th, is the Ontario Open. That's their national series event. So you're going to see a bunch of top Ontario climbers. Um, just to leave with my predictions, I think even though the full registration list isn't out yet, so I'm not sure completely who's going, I know that Brown and Carnes is registered. I think she's the clear favorite based on her results over the last couple of competitions. 
uh, even though she was out for a few months with the injury in the fall, uh, she seems to clearly have momentum and talking to a lot of the athletes, they seem to think she's the one to beat. For the men, it's a little more up in the air. I know for sure Lucas Uchida won't be climbing there. He's going to be setting for it, which should be a lot of fun. Um, I don't know if some people like Nathan Smith will show up because he's living in Quebec, so we'll have to see. But as a, as a vague prediction, I'm going to say Zach Richardson or Nathan Smith based on who shows up. I think they're the favorites. Upsets can always happen. Shout out to Rahul Sapra, the Ontario bouldering provincial champion. Uh, yeah, upsets happen, man. So we'll see what comes of it. But uh, Bronwyn Carnes and Zach Richardson or Nathan Smith, I think, are your uh, your number one climbers there. So join me January 27th at 6 p.m. on YouTube. I'll put up the thing right now because I'm really gratuitous like that. Join me on YouTube. Uh, I'm going to commentate this thing. We're going to have a ton of fun. Uh, So I'll hopefully see you on Saturday for that. Otherwise, I'll see you on Monday with another ranking update.